day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. And try to kill me. Yeah. Hey, that, oh, ooh, oh, oh. Nay, that's old. When people be, when people provide a negative behavior of the church, and they were already recognized people not in the church. But let's talk about the people in the church. If you be of God, then the atrocities that we sometimes get grieving our spirit on, right? Your history, you know about the history of man, especially in this country. Now we can recognize that that was not of God. We already, I guess we knew that was not of God, right? Yeah. But, but it, this is a comeback word for it, isn't it? If you were of Christ, then that would not have happened. Yeah. Or you, that was not of God. And therefore, those people who did those things were, I, I think they may have a problem. Is that, is, that, is that fair to say? That is very really fair to say. I mean, and, the, and that therefore we don't get offended. Hey, it happened, but you know what? They they met God. Because the Bible said in Hebrews 9, 27, there's a point at a time for man to die once and then judgment. Yeah. And those people who did all those, those bad things, they still had to go before God. And what we want to tell people of the day, though, I guess, Brother Addison, is when they do things that's not in line of God, you can sit there and say, if you were Christ, you would not be seeking to hurt me. You would be saying to oppress me. You would be, you would be doing, you would be doing the things you're doing if that was of Christ or if that of God. That is a, an awesome way to respond yeah. to those who are in the body of Christ. Yeah. And, 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 and it is a check that the spirit should receive. Woo! And if it doesn't, then that's that's on him. But at least that's... you 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 kept it in love. Yeah. And you did it as Christ. You know, if you were of God, you would not respond in time. Yes, sir. You know, you would know that these things I speak are from my father. Woo! Which is, and if you were of God. You would not try to beguile me to 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 see me alive, which is of the devil. Woo. So, who is your father? Yeah, <laughs> you mean you can say just as calm and just point to the scriptures. Because yeah. that's exactly what Christ did. Okay, you Abraham seed. Well, if see you Abraham seed, then you would be doing what you're doing right now. You would be trying to kill me right now. Man, that's powerful, bro. Because I think that goes with what you were saying earlier, too, saying is, what's the best way to respond to people? Well, yeah. I, if I can't quote the scriptures directly, I can say what the scripture said. Yeah. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but I'd be glad to go get the scripture if you want me to get it verbatim. The scripture said this. Now, so you're telling me that, but the scripture says this. Where is it your response lining up with the scripture? I just need yeah. you to tell me where is your response lining up with the word of God? And I'll just leave it at that and put it yeah, on the table. I, I like how uh, Minister Hill would say, book, chapter, and verse. Book, show it. <laughs> show it. Book, chapter, and verse. Uh-huh. And, show it. And when you, when you do that, and if it lines up with what you're saying, then I can't do nothing but fall in line. You can't do nothing. Right. And all I can say is I stand correct. Yeah. Thank you, God, for renewing my mind in this situation. Exactly. And if it's going against the script, if your behavior is not lining up with the script, you sit there and say, well, what fruit are I like this? This is one really, like you say, is hard, but it's the one that he wants us to do, right? Because he told us to go bear fruit, didn't he? Yeah. He told us to love one another. And so, therefore, when somebody operates outside of that, you got to say, "Book." Wait, well, look, go back to what you just said. Give me the book, chapter, and verse that you are. Your behavior is lining up with. Because that's what he was trying to say with him, right? He said, "You're trying to kill me. Yeah. You 
you're trying to kill me, if you're trying to, if you were doing Abraham, what he said, if you were doing, lines up with the scripture again, if you were doing what Abraham did, then you will love me. But you ought to kill me. I see the opposite, isn't it? One says, yeah. love me. You try to kill me. Yeah. So therefore, you're not operating in the things of God. You're operating things of the yeah. devil. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> last, 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 the last verse. Last slide. Let's see what you got on this one. <laughs> and we'll close with that. Last slide. Here it is. <laughs> Uh, then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan <laughs> and half the devil? What did they just <laughs> do, brother? Say that, what did they just do? I would say Jesus is a man and has a devil. Jesus See, answered, I have not a devil, <laughs> but I honor my father, <laughs> and you do dishonor me. Hey, is that what happens in this world now? Yeah. And people are quick, look, look, religious people are quick to call you a devil. And but Jesus answered that, so therefore I guess that's how we're supposed to answer too. I'm not, I'm not receiving what you say. Whatever you want to call me, I'm not receiving that. If yeah. it don't line up with God's word, I'm not receiving it. Yeah. And, 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 just, and, and in fact, you show that that's the way you can always be. Yeah. Yeah. Say, I don't have a devil. He, I mean, he asked me too. Is I, I don't have a devil. You know, the more and more I, I, I get into this word, <laughs> boy, Jesus, Jesus didn't pull no punch. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> he said. He called, he called an ace an ace and a spade a spade, man. He did not. And, and in their face. In their face. Yeah. He yeah. did not hold no power. And then, you know, you, you wonder why people, <laughs> when you probably call people on the carpet uh -huh. about who they really are and expose it to them, yeah. they get offensive. Yeah. They take offense and they want to put on. And so you see why these people were trying to harm him. Yes. Because yeah. he called them on the carpet and they couldn't handle it. Yeah. <laughs> He was good at it. He, he said, look, I'm, I'm always pointing back to the Father. Yeah. E even if you pointed at Abraham, I, Abraham points back to the Father. You you, you point back to the devil. I'm just telling you, you point back to the devil. You act, If you're acting like a fool, you're not pointing toward Christ. So you point toward the devil. And I'm just letting you know. And he even, I like the part he said, you dishonor me. Yeah. You see that point right there? Because that's what people do, right? I want to I want to put you down. I want to hold you back. I want to call you this. I want to call you that. You dishonor. He said you dishonor me. You do that. Yeah. But I'm gonna honor my father. I I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do opposite of what you say. You said I have a devil. I'm telling you I have not a devil. But I do honor my father. But you dishonor me. Yeah. And that's what people do even to you, right? Sometimes it turns on toward you. And it was oh, never well, about you. If, if your whole being is to honor God and people have ought against you, then who do they have ought against? Come on, brother. You what? know, you know, if, if, if my whole agenda is of God and you have ought against my agenda, then who do you have ought against? Against God against god just like just like that, that that remind me when they tried to do uh saul right or when they wanted a king right yeah. they, 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 they said they said samuel they didn't reject you yeah. remember samuel, samuel saying what you're saying right there right remember when yeah. they wanted a king yeah. and, 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 and 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 god had to tell samuel they're not rejecting you samuel yeah. they're not rejecting you don't worry about that you don't need to get it, huh? That, Samuel needed a check. He needed, yeah. Because it, it, if if he was about God, then he wouldn't have received it as rejection of him. Right. 
So he even got a lesson in there. He got a lesson, right? Just like he's teaching us right here with these scriptures. Because yeah. <laughs> sometimes we get offended because of what rejection people have because you're doing as well. Yeah. And you sit there and then God sit there and say, no, they ain't rejecting you. They rejecting me. Yeah. They ain't lying to you. They lying to me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Powerful, brother. Powerful. Go ahead and wrap it up for us. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Verse That's not my own story. There is one that said, wait a minute. Did you change the slide? I just, I just, yeah, 49 was the last one. You said you dishonored me, remember? We were yeah. talking about dishonoring me. Okay, Jesus answered, I have not a debt, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me. Right. And I am not mine. I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judges. Very, very, I say unto you, if a man keeps my saying, he shall never see death. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there is another scripture after another slide after that. You know, we're gonna talk about saying that. How can you say that you uh, would never see death? Right? Remember that uh -huh. coming after that. Uh, but I don't know if I want to. Do we want to finish it up? Okay. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast the death. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham is dead. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. the prophets. Wait a and minute. thou said, if a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. <laughs> Art thou greater than our father Abraham? Of course I am. Which is dead. <laughs> and the prophets are dead. Who makest thou thyself? <laughs> hey, if hey. I honor myself, my honor is nothing. <laughs> Come on! Jesus, woo! It is my father that honoreth me, <laughs> of whom ye say that he is your God. Woo! I have not known him, but I know him. Woo! And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. Woo! But I know him, and he is saying, Wow! And that's what he's trying to tell us to do the same thing, right? Stay yeah. in the word, continue in the word, right? But, but I, I thought it was funny when they said, now we know. Yeah. Oh, I know you a liar, man. <laughs> hey, but you know, the contradiction of that is, so you didn't know I was a devil, but you still call me one. Yeah. But now, yeah. now you got concrete evidence that you believe that I'm a devil, and now you, now, now you, uh, now you're going to give your case as a wild a devil, but you didn't know I was a devil at first, but yet you call me one. I just want to throw that perspective in for you. Yeah, now we know you have a devil. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I didn't know at first, but I called you a devil. I said you had a devil. I didn't know it though, because now I know. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's just a contradiction in itself if our people want to call you something and still didn't have they were not fully convinced but they called you that anyway that's my point yeah yeah what's the i think this is what the last one at <laughs> this is a long chapter go ahead does your father abraham rejoice to see my day and he sat and was glad he said the truth unto him thou art not yet 50 years old <laughs> and hast thou seen abraham in the flesh Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, Woo! I am. Oh, hey, look, they were they, that 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 did it for him right there, bro. That did it. That did it. it was verse fifty. <laughs> then took they up stones to cast at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. And that, that was in the, that was the last slide. But <laughs> why would they stone him? Why would they want to stone him? Because in their mind, there is no way he can be and say those things that he said. Mm, mm, mm. There is no way that is of God. Not There's in the flesh. 
their 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 whole sense of that was it. Godliness yeah. was Abraham. Yeah. Not yeah. God, but Abraham. Abraham. Right. They you so know? missed the mark. So they missed so it. Put the, they put their their, <laughs> their relationship to God on Abraham instead of God himself. The same thing they did with uh Moses. Same yeah. thing. That's what people want to do. I want to put an intermediator between you in God. And that's why we have the true intermediator, which is Christ. You know? And if we stay on message, I think we, we can do it. But stay on message. Don't go by the world's way. Don't use the tools of the devil. You'll do great. Amen? Mm -hmm. Man, that was a... I don't know about you. You need to meditate. Chew on that. Everybody listen to this video, chew on that. <laughs> Just, just chew on it, cause it's worth chewing up. It's worth meditating. On. Uh, just stay on message and understand how people will sit there and call you a devil, even though they don't know you're a devil. <laughs> and and people come off message and say, "Stay in the word." He said, "Continue in my word," and then you'll be well, my disciples. You know, you stay on message. They should be calling you a devil. That's what they're gonna do. The, 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 the world will. Yeah. They, yeah. they they should be they should be seeking the stone. Yeah. You know, uh, because obviously God's ways are not the ways of this world, and they, 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 He takes the little things, the weak things, the, the lower things, and He uses that to. to lift himself to 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 exalt himself yeah you know and so you have these great lofty people and in, 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 and uh people in these high positions that that men have put authority in and all this other stuff and, uh, they're all in these prestigious arenas and he'll take somebody He'll take a newborn in Christ and blow them dudes out of the wall or them women. Yeah, yeah. With truth. With truth. It can just truth. be a question, a simple question about truth yes. that will have them going off on that one little child of God. Yeah. Because they question something about truth. Yes. See, see, science is, you know, that they 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 couldn't they doing the flesh, right? Like you just said earlier, they couldn't receive what he said because they were locked in in the flesh. Cause they said the flesh could not have seen Abraham. Right? Yeah. And that's how that's how sometimes we 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 go back and forth. And I think that's what that scripture said, being spiritually minded. Opposed to cardinally minded, yeah, and and that's why it's hard to stay in the bad fruits of the spirit as long as you are cardinally minded. And I leave you with this: Is it easier to love, but based on the fruits of the spirit, or is it easier to hate? It is easier. Obviously, I'm gonna say this: It's easier to hate. It's easier to hate. Now, what, what does what hate does it require to hate, hate? Hate is easy because it is the nature of this world and of your flesh. Right. It is just the na its nature. It is harder to love unconditionally. But here's because the it goes when, against it goes against the, question, the flesh. Here's the question: When I say that, and I and I, I relate totally what you're saying, and and, and concur with the father flesh but what kind of stress does hate put on a person what kind of uh you remember we were talking about it back in carol was saying it's like playing a video over and over again you keep you're not growing right when you hate you're stuck in hate right yeah. you have no peace in hate 
uh, and, 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 and it motivates you to do bad things. So <laughs> I would say it's easy for the flesh to relate to hate. But I still think it's harder on the flesh to hate. I, 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 I can't agree with that. I don't think it's hard. I, I think hate, hate, hate or kill you. Is, is, is a natural thing. And, and it's just a, it's a default, if you will. Right. You well, know, I agree. I'm just saying, what does it, does it, does it, does it kill you though? Does it, does it, you said, obviously we know it does, right? Yeah, it does. It does. It kills you. Uh, it puts you in a situation where if you do hate, you may, and, if, and here's the problem is when I, if I love somebody and I give them love, right? My expectation of return is, is not any danger. No, there is no expectation of return. That, right. Well, I want to throw something at you. But when I hate, when I hate you, when you hate somebody, is there an expectation you may get the same back? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you may get them today, may kill you, right? Oh, yeah. And that's what I'm just trying to say. To me, I'm what I mean is it easier to hate. To me, it's harder because of the consequences that comes with it. Where love, I don't see the consequences of loving somebody. Like you said, because there's no expectation of return at all. I don't have to, I don't have, I'm not looking for a return from love. Well, with love, uh, and, and I gotta put a, uh, a qualifying, unconditional love. Uh huh. There is always consequences because, because of this world, default okay of sin then it must if there is a default to want to overthrow love to put yourself above love to take advantage of love you know what i'm saying okay. Yeah. So if you see love from somebody who's unconditionally, then your default is to exhaust that, to tap that out, to stomp it out. Because, and I'm not saying this is everybody, but when you you show love, people who are practicing hate will actually abuse it, abuse the love that you're giving. They will try to exhaust it. They will. Uh, you 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 will be pretty much in in the position that Christ is in. They will persecute you. They'll hate you for it. Yep, he said that those who live godly shall be persecuted. Yeah. So it, it is it is a a natural default, and the only thing that is holding many people back to the point of of actual <laughs> crucifying you. is right. the law when you walk in that love. But to walk in love is to walk in truth. Yes. And and, and a person is so, willing to die in love and you're speaking truth, then you will certainly be condemned. Yeah. This world and people who are of this world because you will be speaking truth to the lie that they're telling themselves. Yeah. When I you can't, I, I, the darkness, you bring in the light to darkness, you, you're exposing it. And, and things that are done in the dark are done in the dark for a reason because they don't want to be exposed. Now, here's, but back to, back to your analysis.